Hi, I'm Richard Simons, and this is my company, R Simons Limited. Uh, as you might have seen on YouTube, we're starting to produce a few more videos now. Thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed our videos. I do hope you find them useful. Our primary business here is actually selling cars. We sell used cars. I'm a petrol head who likes electric cars and especially Teslas, um, but we like playing with cars. So we've got a little experiment today that we hope you find uh, interesting. And this is to try and uh, help answer the question where um, people criticize electric cars by saying they're too quiet I can't hear them come in they're dangerous I don't like the idea of them so what I want to do I've got a sound meter here we're going to test a few cars as they drive past the front of our showroom here and we're going to try them at 10 miles an hour 20 miles an hour and 30 miles an hour and we've got a few different cars to try out so might not be the most experimental but we do have a proper sound meter we'll record the results we'll show this in a table at the end of the video and i do hope it's something that's at least of interest and you can like and subscribe to our channel to see some more experiments we do along with videos of the cars we sell of course and uh, days out on the road where we have interesting journeys we'll record some of those and other future videos thank you very much let's get the experiment underway with the first car Okay, so here we have the first car. Uh, we've pulled out a Peugeot E208. So I'm going to record a sound as it comes past me, kind of simulate as if I was about to step into the road, I guess. Um, so the first test here is at 10 miles per hour. The E208 does have a pedestrian noise system, so I can hear it now. So we've got 69.9 for the E208 at 10 miles an hour. Okay, so here we go with the E208 at 20 miles an hour. So we have 75 decibels. So round three for the E208, this time he's coming to us at 30 miles an hour. That was 78 and a half at the point that I would have stepped out in front of the car. So this is the BMW i3 at 10 miles per hour. Seventy point nine. Seventy point nine. Okay, this is the BMW i3 at 20 miles an hour. I can definitely hear it coming. And 76.6. Okay, BMW i3, 30 miles an hour. What have we got? 82.5. I can definitely hear it coming. There's no, uh, there's no doubt about that. Okay, so this is a Tesla Model S at 10 miles an hour. I can definitely hear this as it's coming down the road. 76.9 on that. Test the Model S at 10 miles an hour. So now we've got our Model S coming at 20 miles per hour. Let's see what we get. And I'm going to measure it at the point where he passes me. 83.5. There's no doubt you can hear the car coming. Definitely that speed. Okay, Model S at 30 miles an hour. 85.5 so here we have our ford ranger so a heavy car four by four and this is a 10 miles an hour test let's see what this uh, this reads out 72.8 ford ranger two liter diesel Okay, so this is the Ford Ranger now at 20 miles per hour. And again, I'll measure the sound as he passes me as if I were about to step out in front of it. We had 79.9. Okay, Ford Ranger, 30 miles an hour. I can definitely hear it coming. 83.9. Okay, this is Model S 100D at 10 miles an hour. Now, the other Tesla Model S is quite noisy. This one's got 19-inch wheels, so maybe it's quieter. 72.7. That's a Tesla Model S 100D with 19-inch wheels. Model S, 20 miles an hour. 
80.8. It is a bit quieter than the one with 21 inch wheels so far. Tesla Model S, 19 inch wheels, 30 miles an hour. I can definitely hear it. It was 82.4 as it passed. 82.4. Okay, so we're going to mix up a little bit. This is now a 2004 Mercedes CLK uh, with a petrol engine. Let's see what we can uh, we can hear. Okay, Joe, straight in 10 miles an hour. That was 71.8. It's pretty quiet, but you could hear the engine just about. Okay, now with Joe at 20 miles an hour in the Mercedes. Okay, Joe, 20 miles an hour. It's 77.7. E. I was reading 84.3. So right in the middle of this experiment, there's a, an HUV truck coming past. So we may as well record that as a comparison as well. Ready? There's 101 decibels as that came past me. Okay, so now we've got a Renault Zoe and we're gonna start him off at 10 miles an hour. And this is that pedestrian warning noise. So let's see what it says as we come up close to it. I can hear it coming. I can hear it coming. It's just a hum. Seventy-one. So the car was very quiet, but I could hear that humming noise from the pedestrian warning system. So 71 at 10 miles per hour. Okay, this is the Renault Zoe 20 miles an hour, which is faster than the pedestrian noise. So it's just the road noise we hear now. So that was 77.4. So the pedestrian warning noise, we could hear that on the slower run, but at 20 miles an hour, that noise is not on. So that is purely the road noise from the tires at uh, 20 miles an hour, 77.4. Okay, Renault Zoe 30 miles per hour. Here he comes. So it was 84, and we could definitely hear that coming. Again, the road noise, but you can definitely hear it coming. 84. So in the middle of the sound testing, we've got a full transit van with a metal cage in the back, and that is 94 and a half decibels. <laughs> Next, we have a Mercedes Sprinter box van. What does this do? 81.2 at, I don't know what speed that was, between 10 and 20. 17.6 miles per hour. Probably the slowest Mercedes van I've seen. They normally are traveling at about 110 miles an hour. So that was quite good. Okay, next up is Sophie. And we also have two cyclists. This is sound test them. Two cyclists at 78.7, they're whistling. Yeah, the DHL van interrupted that. Again, good to see a DHL van not doing 80 miles an hour in a 30 limit. Okay, this is uh, Sophie in a Fiat 500. Uh, it's a little petrol engine at 10 miles an hour. It's very quiet. Seventy-two point two. Seventy-two point two. Okay, this is Sophie in a Fiat 500, 20 miles per hour. Seventy-seven point four. Okay, so. Just to mix things up a little bit, here comes our colleague Joe on a bike. And that was 60.5. I think that's the quietest yet. I don't know what speed that was. Same as a Zoe. Quieter than a Merc. <laughs> Sophie, that was quieter than the Mercedes against his now sort of grinning, but with gritted teeth. <laughs> Okay, here comes Sophie in her Fiat 500 at 30 miles per hour. That 
and we've got 80.4, which is actually consistent with the last one we had as well. So this is a Nissan Leaf at 10 miles per hour. Seventy-one point two. Seventy-one point two. This and leaf twenty miles an hour. I can hear it coming. Seventy-nine point six. Seventy-nine point six. This and leaf thirty miles an hour. Here he comes. Eighty point seven. 80.7. Okay, so we've got a Tesla Model X. It's a 90D on 22 inch wheels with Pirelli tires. 10 miles an hour on the first test. 73 decibel, 73. This is the Model X 90D at 20 miles per hour. 79 decibels. So Model X, 90D, 30 miles per hour. 86.6. And easy to hear that come in. 86.6. Okay, so this is a Model 3 with the 18 inch arrows coming in at 10 miles per hour. A long range one. 72.2 Okay, Tesla Model 3, 18 inch arrows, 20 miles per hour. 78.3 30 miles an hour on the Model 3. 82 82 Okay, well, it's cold out here, we're losing the light, so I'll wrap things up for today. It might not be the most scientific test, um, but I hope it's useful information. I think in summary, I would say, above a very slow walking pace, you can hear them all come in, um, like any car, to be honest. We've tried a few different cars here today. So at walking pace, yes, an electric car is quieter, um, but once they're rolling, I really don't think there's much in it at all. Um, but we do hope that's useful. It's good information. And um, we hope if you have any comments, you can put them below and uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications and new videos that we'll put up. Thank you for today.